Well, Arjun, we know it's not been easy trading conditions for some of the big U.S. Uh, Silicon Valley names, but uh, what are the Chinese counterparts look like over the trading period? Yeah, it's been pretty tough as well for the Chinese uh, counterparts just because of a number of factors. And we talk about uh, the second quarter there. I'll just give you some of the highlights. Alibaba, flat revenue growth for the first time. Tencent, their first decline on record. JD.com posting just 5.4% growth, its slowest on record as well. And so it has been tough, uh, tough for these. Uh, Chinese tech stocks as well because of uh, a lot of this is down really to the economic situation in China caused by the country's zero COVID policy. We saw a resurgence of COVID in the second quarter, subsequent lockdowns in major cities across the country, including uh, the financial metropolis of Shanghai. And you saw Q2 GDP uh, growth in China, just 0.4 percent. Uh, and that really hit the consumer. Alibaba talked uh, about lower spending across its platforms in the second quarter. Now, one one of the interesting things is we saw the internet giants get a boost in 2020 and 2021 from the pandemic as people turn to these online services. But this year, the comparison's a lot tougher and there are other issues as well uh, in the overhang. One of those is regulatory concerns as well. We've seen over the past sort of two years or 18 months or so, uh, the Chinese government introduced a number of different rules across areas such as antitrust, data protection uh, and gaming. And you're continuing uh, to see that hit some of these uh, tech giants as well. While even though sort of some of the, the action and enforcement has eased Tencent, uh, released barely any new games in the second quarter because it didn't get the approvals to do so. And you are seeing other areas affected, cloud computing, for example, advertising spend, and that really trickled through to the numbers for Tencent and Alibaba. Now, in response, you've got the tech giants focusing on cost cutting to maintain earnings, and that's why analysts are expecting growth to pick up in the coming quarters, but not uh, any of those levels we, we were seeing back in 2020 and 2021 as well, guys.